Last summer, due to my father's bad health, I had to give up my summer plans in order to return to my hometown to help out on the family farm. It was the harvest season. Farm work never stops for vacation. It's a seven day a week job, 365 days a year from sunup to sundown. Next to our family farm was another larger farm owned by Mr. Donald. He's a very kind man. But his son, Dennis, had been in and out of jail many times, charged with robbery, drugs, you name it, he's probably involved. When I got home, I found out that Dennis had been released from prison recently. Upon hearing about this, many local people were surprised and uncomfortable, wondering what to expect. Mr. Donald's wife just passed away last year. But he soon found comfort in the company of his newfound canine companion, Chris, a bulldog, with short hair, very alert, very smart, and extremely loyal. He and his new companion bonded quickly. They both brought so much comfort and happiness to each other's daily lives. However, Danish didn't like dogs at all, and he especially developed a hatred toward Chris and I think Friss felt the same way about him. Whenever he laid his eyes on Friss, he would immediately run after him, and upon capture, Dennis would violently beat him. It's no wonder why, every time Dennis saw Friss, the dog would run away to a secure hiding place, trying to avoid another beating. That poor, innocent dog never dared to show himself when that bully Dennis was anywhere nearby. After getting out of prison, Danish, unfazed by prison life, continued his old, evil, violent ways, plunging himself right back into the same addictive lifestyle, gambling, drugs, burglary, refusing to get a job. He was constantly asking Mr. Donald for money, but when things didn't go his way, he'd just steal whatever money he wanted from his father. Mr. Donald grew very upset and extremely unhappy. Dennis and his father quarreled all the time. Mr. Donald was about to face yet another tragic event. A gang of violent thieves showed up at Mr. Donald's home on the farm. Their faces covered with a black veil that only revealed their eyes. They forced their way inside, carrying many weapons including knives and guns. Chris, his loyal companion, began to bark loudly and viciously from the ground floor, waking Mr. Donald from his bedroom upstairs. Mr. Donald reached for his robe, went downstairs to check what was going on, but when he saw the scene unfolding in front of him, it just left him terrified and speechless. Fearing that these thugs might have been exposed, the robbers surrounded Mr. Donald in the middle of the house with pointed guns aimed at him. Suddenly, out of desperation, he attacked one of those thieving creeps that was standing in front of him. But the rage that overcame those punks took a violent turn as one of them put a bullet in his back. He instantly went into shock, falling to the floor from the intense pain. But before he closed his eyes, he witnessed yet another dark ritual about to take place. His poor dog, Friss, seeing his master being beaten and shot, bravely rushed into action, fiercely attacking and biting one of them, and taking a big chunk of flesh out of that bandit's legs, ripping it with such aggressive force that it tore a hole in his trousers. The bandit who was bitten clutched his leg in pain, his evil eyes filled with rage and cruelty clenching his teeth. He pointed his gun at Friss and fired multiple times at him. Friss curled his painful body into a fetal position on the floor. He took one last breath and stopped breathing. Suddenly, he heard an amusing laughter in the distance, sounding familiar to him. Mr. Donald tried to raise his eyes one last time to look at the man who shot his dog, knowing <laughs> who that person was that committed these inhuman acts. Taking one last breath, 
He then slipped into death, falling into an abyss of darkness as everything went pitch black. A week later, while watching a movie, Dennis suddenly heard a growl outside his door. He angrily looked around to see if there was another dog running into the house. Being traumatized, he held the gun in his hand with the intention of shooting to death whatever creature was lurking in the darkness. But when he opened the door, searching for vengeance, a dog-like figure with bloodshot eyes and drooling foam about the mouth, it was growling at Danish when suddenly it lunged at him causing him to fall backwards. That devil ghost dog began violently sinking his fang-like teeth deep into the flesh surrounding Dennis's neck, slurping his blood before slowly vanishing. Gradually, Dennis was becoming more and more mentally unstable, always tense in a state of unease thinking that Friss had returned from the grave to exact his revenge. More frightening, the people in town often found Dennish crawling on all fours, his eyes glowing with a deep crimson red, making strange vocalizations, snarling, growling, and foaming at the mouth. You could see the foam dripping from him like a rabid hound dog like the beast that was now in possession of his soul. As the days passed, he was behaving like someone who had totally lost his mind and all his humanity, fading in and out of consciousness, crawling through the streets, digging through trash cans for food. Soon after, a stranger appeared in town. He was an evil soul, just like Danish. He hated almost all animals, especially dogs. He loved to torture them and beat them to death. When he saw Dennis, who had now morphed into some kind of unknown creature. Ironically, that same man set a trap and baited it with food, hoping to catch the creature that was once Dennis. After his trophy catch, he responded with the same kind of brutality that once dominated Dennis inflicting the same kind of lust for torture. After taking the life of that creature, Dennis, the man was never seen again. Rumors about him kept spreading, all claiming that Dennis was bitten by some satanic creature that resembled an unusual dog-like beast that had returned from the bowels of the deep, dark underworld of hell to avenge his evil ways. Many people believe that his death was the price he had to pay for the sins that he'd committed to all the animals and people who once loved him. A few days after the incident happened, the police found out the truth. No one could have imagined that Donald's only son, Dennis, was the mastermind behind the robberies that cruelly killed his beloved dog, Friss. I've been witness to what happens to people who commit such evil deeds. Danish had opened a door, inviting the dark souls to enter from the world below. Danish had passed through a dark place where he unknowingly became infested by the dark souls of demonic possession. 